Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to Figs Outside. So today I'm going to talk to you guys um, about the Spot Hog Grinder Micro Pin Adjustable Sight. Um, these sights are pretty sweet. I've been shooting them for years. I've had several other different sights on some of my older previous bows and Spot Hog. From what I've experienced, um, they're just, they're tougher than a nailer sight. Um, some people are going to argue with that. That's fine. Um, but through my experiences, Spot Hog is the way to go. <clears throat> I love these things. They're micro adjustable, um, which is pretty sweet. And we're going to get this out of the package and we'll take a look at it. And also, these sights are made, boom, right there. Made right here in the good old US of A. All right. All right, y'all. So here we go. So you can see this one, <clears throat> five pin, and it's a 0 .019 with the micro adjust. Ooh. Man, sorry about that, guys. I know it was out of focus. Anyway, it says the grinder was built with the hardworking, hard hunting, hard hunting, damn many Christmas, hill busting hunter in mind. Solid built from the ground up. This uh, sight is made from solid 6061 aluminum. It's rugged, compact, gives you all the details here. Um, this sight, as you can see, um, I bought it for $229.99 from mountain archery right here in idaho um, i'll post a link in the description below but let's uh tear this thing open and check it out all right so we got that so here's some of the rings which are pretty sweet so that helps you with the alignment on the front of the site and then it comes with the mounting hardware so it comes with the screws to the bow so what i really like about these sites they're all aluminum obviously um, as it states, and they have a fully encased um, fiber optic that's actually encased inside the pins. Sorry guys, one of the horses. Um, so the pins are nice and bright. As you can see, the ring is super bright. Um, and here's the case, but I don't know if we can see, uh, kind of, oh, right there. You can see some of the fiber optics. They actually run inside the pin. Um, they got the little cutouts. <clears throat> you can also replace these fiber optics. I had to do that on one of my old ones, but uh, it's nice because they're fully protected. It also comes with a wire right here in the middle. So that's pretty sweet. So you can you can actually adjust these pins right here. So it's kind of like a push pull. So you undo this one. So this will be like your 20 yard pin or a 30 yard pin or 10 yard pin, whatever you want to use it by. So on these, what you do, let's see if we can focus a little bit better. I don't know if that made it better. But anyway, on this top screw, you're gonna undo it and then you'll tighten that one. And what that does is it'll actually lift your pin. If you do it vice versa, it'll lower the pin. And so that's how you can lower and raise the pins. Now on a lot of them, you know, you <clears throat> they come on the rails, you have to unscrew it and then you gotta wiggle the pin down a little bit. Some of them have, um, the hash marks for the micro, I don't really like those. Um, but also what's really sweet is down here on the pin, um, you have Allen heads down there. And so what that does <clears throat> is it allows you to move the pins back and forth. And so like with me, and for whatever reason on my 70 and 80 yard pin, um, I have to move those pins in a tiny bit. So they're just barely, barely past the wire for me to get into that bullseye. So anyway, that's what's really sweet with these. Now this, you just unscrew that. Pretty simple. And what I like to do before we mount this onto uh, Caden's new bow, um, get out of here. So these pin, I mean, you know, it's it's machine. It's, it's aluminum on aluminum. And I do the same thing when I mount sights, mount rests, I do all that stuff. I use, I just put a little bit of bow wax on them, the bowstring wax. What that does is it kind of acts um, almost like a Loctite, but it also keeps things from rattling because it adds a little bit of an insulation barrier, it adds a little bit more tension on the threads for stuff like this. So they're just cranking it down because it's aluminum and they're fine threads. And so you can see they're really fine machined aluminum threads. Anyway, kind of a little breakdown also um, here. And doo -doo -doo. Oh. so what that does, it opens it this way so you can adjust this. 
up and down. This one here that's on the on the bow mount in and of itself. You undo this one, and that allows you to twist these bow or twists. Man, I can't even talk right. Sorry, guys. But you can use these, and that allows you to move the adjustments up and down, left or right, for elevation and windage. Um, so that's pretty sweet because you can actually you can just slowly fine tune this to get that precision um, in the sight. And so anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you guys this. Pretty sweet. These are some pretty awesome sights. So we got the medium ring on there. Let's take a weight of this bad boy. So zero it out. So it is, I don't know if you guys can see that, right there, 8.5 ounces. Um, see if it's any different with the other ones. Just for S and G, 8.7. So there's a quick little measurement of weight. Or not a measurement of weight, there's a quick little weight. So we'll go with the small one. And 8.4. There we have it, guys. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking this out. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And also you can find a link to my Instagram down below. And also with that, um, I'm gonna be telling a lot of you guys this. I'm going to start doing a bunch of Amazon reviews because we kind of live in a rural area. So we have to order a lot of stuff. Um, I try to order from smaller companies as much as possible. But some stuff you just, you, yeah, you can't do it. And so Amazon is the way to go. So we have a whole bunch of Amazon products and I am going to clearly list those products in the beginning, in the description and in the header that it is an Amazon product. And then when you go to my website, um, get out of here. Sorry, it's a wasp uh they'll be posted into its own individual category from am or for amazon all right guys well thank you for watching like i said and uh yeah we'll get it to you guys a little bit later and uh, we should have some more videos coming up soon so thanks for your patience and thanks for your time hope you all have a great day Bye bye